The X-Files, Agent John Doggett Revealed. He's the newest addition to the X-Files team. You ever carry one of these? Never. He's a cop's cop and won't let anyone forget it. His methods are tough, no nonsense, and straight to the point. Mind if we come in? Dude, you're, you're already in. Federal agents, nobody move! But in the X-Files' wildest twist yet, John Doggett, played by Robert Patrick, finds himself pulled deeper and deeper into the alien conspiracy. I'm with you, Agent Scully, but don't ask me to take a load of horse crap for the gospel truth. Here we go now, yeah. Action! The newest X-Files feature-length video is Dead Alive. Scully. How bad is he hurt? Victims of abduction are being returned near death, but an alien healer may hold the key to saving them. Look, I know who you are. It's a race against time. He needs help! It's too late! He needs help! This is not happening! Stay tuned after the feature for a behind-the-scenes look at Dead Alive. And see an exclusive interview with Robert Patrick, the man behind John Doggett. It's very similar to what I'm going through as an actor, is what Doggett's going through with each show. I'm not sure where you're going with this, Agent Scully. They parallel. This Mulder thing. I want you to drop it. The X-Files, Agent John Doggett revealed. X-Files Season 8 could become the most memorable ever. Mulder's abduction by aliens has not only shocked fans, it's also opened creative doors and posed questions even Chris Carter could have never imagined. You ever hear of an alien in Nikes? As Scully and Doggett pursue the mystery behind the alien abductions, the show's co-directors, Tony Warmby and Kim Manners, were faced with their own challenges. I've got a very difficult story, a very difficult show to shoot. And I've got a new character to introduce, uh, Monica Reyes, uh, by Annabeth Gish. And so I was so focused on that. Once again, Frank and Chris brought in a new character. We find that she works great with Jillian. She works great with Robert. Monica Reyes. Hi. You believe in extraterrestrials? Let's just say I don't not believe. It's up, so that light hits across the cheek. What we're trying to do this morning was to make sure the audience sees the swelling of the veins in this kind of nasty, agonizing moment for, for Skinner. So fat. The one thing that, uh, that I do have a really hard time with is the uh, special effects makeup that I'm, I'm required to endure as a result of the uh, nanotechnology infection that has been inflicted on me by Krychek. Matt is by the camera, blowing into these tubes. And I'm saying, hold the veins at their peak. And he's going, kind of going red in the face, you know. And any second I expect him to faint. It's all there, it's there. I'd asked the producers not to bring this back, but sure enough, this episode, it's back. <laughs> Vein him up. Perhaps the most significant twist this season is the full-time addition of Robert Patrick's Agent John Doggett. That's it. Got it, Frank. After this, All right, we're in the up. subway. For me, it's been a breath of fresh air having Robert come on the set. I don't believe it. I don't believe I'm even standing here. Doggett is taking the role of, of the skeptic. Uh, it's, it's been a role reversal for me and, and Scully. Now we're the believers. Look, I am a scientist who happens to have seen a lot. I am just making a leap here. I'm sure you have your reasons. That's how I go about trying to solve these cases. And maybe I'm just an old-fashioned cop, but I don't take leaps. He's patient with her. He listens to what she has to say, but he's not willing to believe any of it. It's all a bunch of... Nonsense to him. Do you believe it, Angel School? I mean, that stuff he said about aliens coming to save the world. Even when he gets eaten and regurgitated. I get eaten by a shaman and regurgitated, but I'm still a skeptic. <laughs> Figure that one out. I'll say it again. Insanity. John Doggett is a no-holds-barred, you know, I'm gonna break your ass kind of guy. And Robert Patrick is a bit of a cut up. <laughs> yeah, all right. Very quiet. Let's roll, please. I'm gonna get out of this thing, Agent Scully. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> he tripped. And he comes on <laughs> with this great enthusiasm and he's screaming, bring it, bring it. Do it, please. Bring it. <laughs> bring it all night. The guy's nuts. Good. God bless. When the bat jumped out of the 
the reeds to hit him on the back. That was really Robert. Bob just kept going, come on, bring it. It's cold, by the way. It's like 30 degrees. You know, they're in this freezing cold water. He didn't care. He said, come on, let's go. I've seen some violent crimes, but uh, this is extreme. For the ultimate non-believer, stepping into the world of the X-Files is a strange experience. Smiles, huh? You look tense. As for Robert Patrick, the actor, stepping into the role of Doggett is a dream come true. Ready, Bobby? Yeah. Rehearsing, yeah. Action. This is the first time I've ever done television other than The Sopranos. And one of the things you think about as an actor is, and if I do this every week, am I going to get bored by it? I don't see how you can with the way they write, because every week you get something, you're going, wow, you know, that's bizarre. Where are you going? Back to the real world, why? It's a constant learning experience. You can never get bored with it, and you can never figure it out. And that's the same with Doggett. You just won't believe it, will you? I'm going to have to continue to go with it and, and, uh, and just see where uh, the guys take him and me. Mm -hmm.